Thought I could tickle the ivories one last time before all hell breaks loose. That's a good idea. Haven't heard music in a while. Many people would say you're not about to hear it now. So, how do you feel about our imminent deaths? We won't necessarily die, of course. We could also be kidnapped, injured, maimed, maybe eaten. The possibilities are endless. I actually feel pretty good about it. The fight, not our deaths, because we're not gonna die. You're so sure. You have to be, right? So, what's this project you needed me for? Sounds awful, right? All we need to do is tune it. That's why I need you. When I get the signal, play the A key. Uh, yeah, which one's the A key? You know, the A key. Next to the B key. After the G key. Good. That definitely helped. Now press the pedals while I make some more adjustments. Great! That part's golden. Quick, now blow on the strings. I know, sounds weird, but blow on them. Cooling the temperature helps set them in harmony. Okay, great. That did nothing, because that's not at all part of how you tune a piano. <laughs> but it was funny! It could have done something, on like a molecular level. Or maybe it's good luck to blow on strings. <laughs> you are super cute. Cute? Wow, uh, that's, uh, yay! <laughs> Glad to be of service. What are you playing? And don't say a piano. A song that I wrote. Really? What's it called? I don't know yet. There. First time played. You should mark the occasion. You done tattooing that piano? I think you've got a future in Whitlin. I like saying Whitlin. Whitlin. Okay, I'll stop. Whitlin. Oh, that's a, that, that's a potato? It's a heart, yep, I see, it's a heart. That's super cool, really cool. So, hey, I'm gonna dig myself into a deep hole from which I'll never emerge. Cool? Cool. Ha! Huh. Time to get serious. Serious? Wow. You feeling okay? Not really, nope. Mm -mm. Thanks for being here. Listening. Blowing on the strings. Coming here to help me with my project, even after everything I put you through. And everything I had to work through for myself. Everyone hears the jokes, the piano, and... After that, they stopped listening. You didn't. So, um, I like you a lot. Like, like you. As more than a friend. <laughs> no jokes? Nothing? When you said you had feelings for someone during the game, I was hoping it was me. And it is. Holy shit, it's me! Figured out what to call the song. Clementine, obviously. You know, because I like fruit. And I like you even more, so... There. Gotta admit, of all the things I saw coming, you having a crush on me was not it. You stabbing me in my sleep? Yes. Declaration of crush? No. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I have to go. I've got lookout duty. Well, you wouldn't want to miss that. Sounds like way too much fun. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with them. Abel. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. Can I swear yet? I think it's time I can. If you do. Okay, but not the F word. Shit is the upper limit. Ah, oh, that guy is a f a, a shitbird. <laughs> it's not funny, Clem. Come on. I'd take a big shit on his head. Okay, that's enough. Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four. AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. And he doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. I'm the one that kills him. Okay? AJ, I don't like the way you're talking. Killing is never easy or fun or to be treated so casually. Is it because I'm trying to be good because of Marlin? It's just because you should never think about killing like that. There's 12 of them now. Well, what if we played rock, paper, scissors? If I win, you change your mind, and I get dibs on Abel. I can take him, Clem. Please. I'm not being casual. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Really? Best two out of three, sucker. And no take backs. No take backs. Sucker. Get ready. One. Two. Rock. Gotcha. Again. One. Two. Paper. Tied. Go again. Again. One. Two. Scissors. Gotcha. Again. One. Two. Paper. Tied. Go again. Again. One. Two. Scissors. Gotcha. I win. So no more about dibs, okay? Okay. Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. That's not a walker. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. Raiders? Yeah, they're here. Shit. Well, in case it all goes to hell and I don't see you again during the fight, just know, I have no idea what that D stands for on your hat. Don't tell me. I prefer it to remain a mystery. 
But I'm gonna pretend like it stands for don't die. So just, um, listen to your hat, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh no, assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them and won, after all. Well, sort of. Lewis, shut it. No matter what happens, Fuck! Shit! Hide! Now! Omar! I've got him! AJ, hide! Come on! I will help you! Let's hide! No! Open up, kid! Doesn't have to get any uglier! Go! Go! Oh, I'll be all right. <laughs> don't have much time. Go! Or make noise. The fuck is all this? Focus. You just scare crows. Guess they took this seriously. Spread out. Get the chance. Where's our new recruit? They're not yours. Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And your little boy. Lily! Clem! Where's our new recruit? They're not yours! Search the yard. If Clementine moves, Shooter. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And your little- I don't think you want to kill me. Just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. We would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. You're right, Lily. I am just like him. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Why? Because you pick fights you can't win? Right. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. 
Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed. One guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Shit. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can. I just want them back. Please. You'll be happier where they are. Don't listen to her, Ten! You know she's lying! She stole your sisters! She took them away from you! From their home! little chat, you and me, alone. Ah! Fuck it, bitch! Um, I can't. Stay back! Oh. Oh. Whenever I see someone like you, weak, small, afraid, and still alive, well, bet a lot of folks die to get you here. Shit! 
This should be easy. You won't kill me. I know you won't. Why? We were like family once. He won't hurt family. Sorry for trusting her. God, Asim, Omar, they're just gone. And Violet, I never thought someone would get her. We're going after them. How? We still don't know where they are, or how many. Well, we've got someone who does.
In the pine.